2000 through 2006 Chevy Tahoe Suburban EVAP vent valve replacement. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'm going to walk you through the steps of replacing that. So this is the new replacement vent valve for the gas tank EVAP system. And this is the, the part that we're going to be using, an AC Delco part. I will leave a link for this part in the description of the video so you guys can get that if you need it. So the easiest way to do this job is to get the vehicle up in the air. If you have a hoist, get it up. If not, uh, you might want to jack the uh, rear end of the car up and use floor jacks and jack stands. So as you get underneath the car, the gas tank is on the driver's side of the vehicle. And at the, the rear of the gas tank is the EVAT vent valve right here. So the first thing we're going to do is just unplug the electrical connector. So pulling the tab down. Next, we're going to remove the vent line here. And the way you do that is you squeeze it right here. You may have to use pliers and squeeze it right here and it's going to flare these little tabs open on the left and right side of it. And then you'll pull it off. So I'm squeezing the uh, vent line here. What you want to do is you want to push it in towards the valve too, like that, and then squeeze it. But when I'm, I'm doing it and it's not flaring the little, uh, it's not flaring the little, little tabs here and above it, here open enough to, to clear the lip so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a flat blade screwdriver like this and kind of put it in between the little lip there and give it a little twist and I'll use another flat blade screwdriver on the top and I'll do the same thing and then I'll slide the hose okay off. now that you got the vent hose pushed off the next thing we need to do is get the, uh, the, the valve off the little metal bracket that it's attached to and the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna put a little flat blade screwdriver right here and you're going to bend this little tab out just a little, just a little bit and then they'll slide this on so now we're ready to put our uh, vent valve back in but now what we need to do first is bend that little metal tab that we bent out a little bit bend it back in and that's what catches and, and secures the uh the valve the vent valve now that the tab is bent back in a little bit we're going to take our replacement valve and slide it on you can even put the hose on first if you like so i went ahead and just plugged it into the uh the vent line first. Now I'm just going to push it back over the over the bracket, slide it on, slide it on until it locks into position like that. Now we're going to plug in our sensor. So it's very common for these valves to uh, malfunction. Uh, reason why is this half of it is a filter, and the other half is the actual valve. And what happens is this filter plugs up with debris and uh, spiders and all kinds of stuff crawl up in there. And most of the time what happens is they actually hold the valve stuck open in an open position and, um, and allows it to vent all the time. Occasionally the, the, the switch itself will malfunction uh, electrically where it won't open and close. But mostly what I see on these is the uh, if you break this apart and take it apart, you'll actually find the valve stuck wide open. And that'll complete the job of replacing the EVAP vent on a 2000 through 2006 Chevy Tahoe and the Chevy Suburban. I'm Brian Essa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video. Encourage you to subscribe and invite you to head over to the HowToAutomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. And I will also be putting a link for this part in the description of the video, so look for it there. Thank you again for watching.